Fungi have lived among us for millions of years, and possibly their role in our evolution as a species deserves more credit than we give them. The stoned ape theory states that our ancestors chased cattle consuming hallucinogenic mushrooms that grew from their excrement. These mushrooms were rich in psilocybin and possibly triggered a creativity peak during some period of human evolution, serving as a tool to help our ancestors find better ways to communicate what they saw. When metabolized by our body, psilocybin amplifies the stimulus exerted by serotonin on your brain, greatly altering the perception of your senses and the expression of your emotions. Depending on the dose, you can see sounds, hear colors, or even interact with deities from different dimensions surrounded by kaleidoscopic constellations, lights, and fractals. This happens because your brain temporarily creates new neural connections, making it hard to differentiate reality from fantasy. In addition, areas of the brain that are normally activated when dreaming are activated while being awake. Finally, multiple areas of your brain turn on in an avalanche, which leads to the perception of expanded consciousness, loss of ego, and the feeling of knowing the answers to the mysteries of life and the complexity of death. By the effects I have just described, magic mushrooms have traditionally been used for recreational purposes, however, as time passes, they earn themselves more space in academy as therapeutic options for the treatment of mental disorders such as depression and anxiety, addictions, and post-traumatic stress. A group of researchers conducted a study where they administered psilocybin to 51 patients diagnosed with cancer. By the end of the study, more than 80% of patients expressed a significant improvement in their general well-being, reduction in their anxiety, fewer symptoms associated with depression, and a marked decrease in their fear of death. Magic mushrooms are not considered clinically addictive, and despite a few exceptions, they generally have a low level of toxicity. However, there are significant risks to your mental health if you consume them carelessly, since a first psychotic episode after their consumption is always a possibility, and you could possibly develop symptoms similar to those of schizophrenia. In addition, there are certain species of fungi that are toxic to the body, can cause kidney failure, and even lead to death. We want to make sure you understand we are not recommending the consumption of hallucinogenic mushrooms, however, we are aware that people consume them or seek to consume them, this is why we have listed some rules that will surely reduce the risk of ending up in an emergency room after their consumption. Rule number one, magic mushrooms should never be consumed without being prescribed or recommended by a trained psychiatrist. In case you violate this rule, it is necessary to make sure that the species that you consume is not poisonous. One of the most non-poisonous consumed species in the world is the psilocybe cubensis. Rule number two, there must always be a sober and responsible person in charge of accompanying you at all times, acting as your anchor with reality, calming your anxiety in case of a bad trip, and facilitating any type of need you might have in case there is an emergency. Rule number three, hydration is essential. Being in a hallucinatory state can lead to not feeling tired and walking for hours, leading to dehydration and possibly harming your kidneys. Try drinking at least a glass of water every hour or so. Magic mushrooms should not be mixed with other psychoactive substances such as alcohol or marijuana. These types of interactions only increase the possibility of an unpleasant experience. Rule number five, once you've consumed mushrooms, there's very little you can do to alleviate their hallucinogenic effects. If you have a bad trip, drinking milk won't make a difference, this is just a myth. In case of a bad trip, better ask your trip sitter to play nice music, give you comfort, be with you to help you understand your situation, and try as hard as you can to don't fight your mind. Fighting the fungus will always be a bad idea that can lead to an endless spiral of negativity and anxiety. Just chill and let go of your ego. Soon you will realize that time didn't stop, life went on, and discovering if we are in a simulated reality or not is less relevant as you come back to sobriety. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and activate bell notifications if you learn something new. Tell us your experience with magic mushrooms in the comment section down below, we'll read them all. We have a great library of videos like this one, at Tuvi English, here are two videos you will surely enjoy watching. Thanks for watching, see you later.